My name is Jennifer Taylor. I'm 24 years old. I'm a grad student here at SFA. I'm visually impaired. I have oculotaneous albinism. What it is, is pretty much I have, um, well, I have type one, and which is the most severe kind. Um, I have no pigment. I have like underdeveloped eyes and nerve endings that go to the brain. And so pretty much nothing has any color. It's a recessive trait. Both parents have to have it. Albinism is not a very well-known condition. It's very um, rare and they're starting to come up with just new research. Like when I was looking today on the up-to-date research on um, albinism, it's constantly changing. Like they're finding out more and more about it because it's, you know, it's genetics. I've never really had a whole lot of negative experiences because when you look at me, you don't really see a person that's visually impaired. I mean, when I was younger, it was more prevalent because, you know, I was a little girl with really white hair, really white skin, and I know my mom took a lot of negativity from that. For example, she had a woman start screaming at her at the grocery store because she thought she was bleaching her children. Well, I first learned about beat baseball after I graduated high school. I had came here to SFA for a summer camp called Camp Independence, people that are blind and visually impaired. They did a like mock version of it. I remember being put under blindfold for the first time and I had never been put under blindfold and it was like my whole, all my senses crashed. I didn't want to move. I didn't know what to do. I was scared. But that was like my first experience was just the blindfold really tripped me up. I think it gives people uh, uh, people with visual impairments an outlet, something to do, um, because when you're under blindfold, everyone is the same. It doesn't matter what type of visual impairment you have. It doesn't matter how much you can see. So I think it gives everyone like an outlet. Um, it kind of opens doors up for other people to come in and see the sport, and it kind of advocates for itself, and there's a social outlet and something to do. When you get the blindfold on, I mean, take a minute to like adjust and breathe and kind of open up your other senses. Um, we don't push people hard at all. So, you know, if you don't want to run towards the base the first time, I mean, you can walk and feel it out because the base is never going to move. I think just taking it slowly and step by step really helps. Uh, I know for me personally, I was kind of just thrown into it.